In today's video, I'm gonna do a demo of a plugin called Ultimate Divi Builder Add-ons. So this plugin is quite exciting. In fact, let's head over here to, our, to, to their website. And as you can see here, the price is about $59, so it's not too bad. And this, as it says in the description here, it gives superpowers to the Divi Builder. Okay, so uh, also version two has been released. And uh, you can actually go to this URL here, which I'll add in the uh, video description below. So you can go directly to this page. So now there's quite a lot of things to read about here. There's a description text here, and there's also a video to show you what it does. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to install the plugin, how to um, make it work for you, and where all these features are. So over here, I've gone ahead and I've downloaded the, uh, the plugin already ahead of time. And when you download the plugin, what happens happens is it's, a, it's added here onto your side menu. So you can see here, Ultimate DV Builder add-ons. So let me show you how to install it. So first of all, of course, you want to come over here to Ultimate DV Builder add-ons, the actual website, purchase it. It's $59, as we mentioned here. And then once you've downloaded it, it goes into your downloads folder or wherever you've assigned where your folder is. Now, once that's done, all you have to do is to come over here to plugins and then click on add new. Next, you wanna come over here to Upload Plugin, Choose File, and then this is where you want to navigate to where your file is, I mean, where your uh, plugin is. So over here, it's in my download folder. Just double click on that, click on Open. Now, of course, I've already gone ahead and installed mine, so I don't need to do that. So once it's installed, as I mentioned, it will be added here over here to the left. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at what this plugin does. So all these things here on the sides are the extra items that these uh, that can be added to the functionality of your Divi Builder. So let's start here with the first one. So custom scroll bar. So by default, it's set to off. So what you want to do is you want to activate the ones that you want to use. So custom scroll bar, I'm going to set it to yes. Now, it's quite important that you read over here all the, um, the instructions. And this is the source website. So in fact, let's head over here and see what it says about the custom scroll bar effect. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab. And uh, these are the different types. As you can see here, these are the scroll bars. Okay, this is another type. This one here with an arrow at the top and the bottom. Okay, so these are the different types. So let's say you want to apply these to your own website. So what you wanna do is to come over here and copy the uh, class. Okay, it's very important you copy the class. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, highlight the um, the if the third effect here like that. So this can be added to a section, row, or module. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it works on sections, rows, and models and and modules. So I'm gonna copy this. Okay, so remember, this has to go to the class and make sure it's activated here. Now, once you've activated it, you want to scroll down here and click on Save Changes. Right, so now let's open up a brand new page or set up a new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and then click on add new. So I'm gonna call this page add-ons, use Divi Builder. So over here, you have a choice between designing this from scratch or uh, building a page from a pre-made layout. So it doesn't really matter which way you go. So in this case, I'm just gonna save us a lot of time. So I'm gonna click here on browse and choose a pre-made layout. So again, it can work on any type of uh, layout you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this fashion layout and uh, go ahead and use this layout. Right, so now that my layout has been uh, imported, all I have to do now is to publish the page, make sure we have all our settings intact. Right, so the next stage now is to decide where you want to add your scroll bars. So I've already established where I want this to go and it's gonna be on this paragraph of text. So what I'm gonna do now is to click here on this gear icon. Now, before I go in, make sure that you have enough text for the scroll to show. So I'm gonna go ahead now, click on this gear icon, click on advanced. Now, remember, I copied the, uh, the class uh, in the previous stage. So I'm gonna come over here and paste my class just like that. And then I just need to save. Now, that's all I need to do. So right now, it may not show. So what you wanna do is to save this page and then exit the Visual Builder. Great, so all we have to do now is to scroll to that uh, text and now you can see it's scrolling. 
all by itself because that's the effect that I chose. Now, if I want to go in and maybe change it to a different one, all I have to do is to go into the class, uh, change the effect, and then it'll just change how it works. So I really like this because when you go to the page, it actually shows you the contents of what's in that uh, text area. So with this now, you can also go in, maybe add a background color if you want to, and do some more customization. So now let me show you quickly how you can go in and uh, change this. So let's say you want to change this effect and uh, choose a different one. So we can come over here to the settings, advanced, ID and classes. Now this time I'm gonna choose effect number one. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Save the page. Exit the Visual Builder. Now let's take a look at how this one looks now. Okay, so as you can see, the scroll bars, they'll only come on once my mouse goes into this area here, like that. Really, really cool. Really like that effect. So as I mentioned, you can actually go in and make even further, uh, further adjustments. So let's say you want to uh, add a sort of like design element to this. You can actually go into the text uh, module, maybe add some shadows. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're gonna go to design, box shadow. And this time we're gonna go with uh, this inner shadow here. So now you can see I've added my shadow. And when I scroll, this is now more realistic. So we can play around here with the shadow strength and so on. So let's see, I'm just gonna reduce this slightly. And the spread strength to about minus one. So I'm just adding a very subtle effect. Now let's take a look at how this looks now. So there we go. So if I go on here, now you can see, I can scroll. Right, really cool. So let's try something else. So let's go back into our dashboard. Okay, so here we also have um, slide horizontal, fade, uh, fade into view. We have quite a lot of uh, effects that we can play around with here. So what I'm gonna do next here is to choose the next one. So uh, let's go with um, fade into view. Of course, as you can see, we have quite a lot of these. So uh, it's gonna take a very long time to to go through all these, but the most important thing is to just show you how to set it all up, try them out, and then see which one you want to go with. Now again, uh, while I'm here on to uh, fade into view, you want to make sure you activate it, and then you want to also click here and uh, have a look at the previews, see what it's going to look like. So over here, I've opened up the page in a new tab. So this is where you can uh, actually go through the, uh, the information, read about uh, what it talks about or what it says about that actual um, feature. And then you want to uh, make sure, fade into view, copy that class as we did before. And then over here, save, uh, save settings. And again, with this one here, it also works on um, row, rows, modules, and sections. Okay, so now that I have it all selected, the next stage now is to go to our page. So I'm gonna come over here to all pages. So we're just gonna go with any page now because I've lost the uh, previous page I was working on. So let's view this. So I'm opening this, opening this in a new tab. Right, so uh, this time I'm gonna add my code to a section. So I'm gonna come over here to my very first section, uh, click on this gear icon, click on advanced, CSS ID and classes, and paste my class in here on save. I'm going to save the page. And then we're going to exit the Visual Builder and see if this is going to work. So I'm going to exit the Visual Builder here. And as you can see here, the fade to view is working fine. Now let's do one more example. So I'm going to come back over here, click on Ultimate Divi Builder add-ons. Right, this time, let's try the uh, jQuery scroll trigger. And again, you can. this is the source. You can click here, find out more information about it and how it works. But the most important thing here is to make sure that it's set to on, and then you want to copy the class. And note, on this one here, it says add class on section. So not all of them work on, um, on uh, rows and modules. Okay, so now that I've copied the, uh, the class, what I have to do now is to save settings. And now I'm gonna go and choose which section I want this to go on. Okay, so I'm gonna enable the Visual Builder. Right, so uh, let's say 
I want to have it here on the last section. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, advanced, ID and classes, and paste my class in here. Okay, so I'm going to save this, save the page. And then we're going to exit the Visual Builder. Right, so now I'm just going to scroll in and then let's see what effect I see. So you can see here that all, I mean, that my effect is working and everything is sliding in. Okay, pretty cool. So this is being activated by scroll. I'm not sure if you can really see this clearly. Uh, maybe it's because I'm moving it too fast. So as I scroll now, I'm gonna try and do it slowly this time. So note that the first part, I'm gonna scroll in. Like that, okay? So let's say you want to de deactivate all these uh, features. So all you have to do is to come over here and just say off. So now that everything is off, you can just save your um, settings. And pretty much all your settings are off. So as you can see, this plugin is really powerful. It can add some professional effects to your website. And the beauty is you can actually go in, switch it off and switch it on whenever you want. And it's very, very easy to apply. But the most important thing is just to make sure that when you go into this plugin, take a look at the demo first, see uh, how those examples are laid out and then go back into your website and apply those. Otherwise, if you try to do it by trial and error, you, you won't have a clear visualization of which effect is going to uh, appear with whatever class that you've copied. So I think this is a very powerful plugin. The link to purchase it is in the uh, description below. So go ahead and check it out. Now, if you want to read more about it, I've also included a link to the page where you can read more about this plugin. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one.